Hi, this is Dennis Craft again, and it's a privilege for me to critique a second one of your images today, titled Granny Smith's Puppy. Scored a 77 in the above average category. Um, and so again, it's my privilege to critique this image. So let's get started with it um, and talk about this particular image for you. Again, uh, the, the strengths of this image is you've got a great subject matter. A cute little puppy, um, great expression on the puppy's face. I love the expression on the puppy's face. Uh, and, and, and so again, that is your strength. I like this presentation um, better than the last one. And I also think that, that this one has a little bit more storytelling. And I, I think that those are things that, that work towards us. If we can actually tell a story with the image, then it captures the attention of the judges as it spins around. So again, a black and white puppy, you've given us a lot of other things to look at, which we're going to talk about a little bit. But again, the subject matter that you've selected is a good subject matter. And this one is lit a lot better. And I like that. Um, I think that that's a strength with this image is that the lighting on it is a lot better. Uh, you, you've got some Definition with the fur, you've got some detail within that. <coughs> Sorry about that. So now let's talk about so what the judges were looking at, what they're seeing, and putting it in that um, above average category. So first and foremost, um, I see a, a tonal range difference. You see how it comes down on the wall, gets lighter, and then we go into this. And I'm not sure if we've put a light back there or if we've toned this area down to two take away from uh, from just give us some contrast density up there um if if we did tone that down i think that we might be better off leaving that tone range going the same all the way up so if if this was the original one and we toned that down i think i'd let that go all the way up that way um if there was a light back there i think i would back that light off whatever caused that tone range difference i think that i would choose not to do that in the future. I also think I would give a little less of the chair in the front. And by that, I mean, um, even if you were to crop this image here and crop it here, come in a little closer, um, you still see that it's a chair, but you don't have this green corner down here that's dominating me to look into it. And I might choose to use a different prop um, more in tonal range with the puppy itself, um, a darker color. You want me to go to the puppy first, and, and I'm commanded to look at that uh, fluorescent green couch first because of how much that you've decided to show us. You know, in the image with the bunny that we talked about, I thought it was cropped a little too close, and I'm not sure that this one's cropped close enough. And, and these are choices that we make entering into competition and I think we need to play with our cropping and we need to play with our placements on in the frame before we send it in to the judge. What is the strongest uh, look for the image that we're sending in? And sometimes it's, you know, you work when working, you crop it a number of different times before you settle on the one that you like. This one you decided to present as a vertical image. And I think that this one it could have been presented as a horizontal also, you know, Cut off a little bit here, cut off a little bit here, and make that a horizontal image. And I think that that would have that strength. This is what you want me to look at. And you've given me so much other things to look at that it becomes hard to get into our puppy itself. Your strengths are that you're finding good subjects and you're finding creative ways to photograph these subjects. We just now have to get to that next level where that they have become the center of interest within the image and the other subsequent things within the image are not demanding the attention from the judges as they look at our image. And then I think that you're going to be well on your way towards getting the, the merits that you're looking for. So again, if I can help any way in the future, uh, please reach out. I'd be more than happy to look at other images for you um, as you're selecting images. We can talk about cropping them before you send them off to competition. Um, maybe look at different parts of this session to, to go forward. You know, you, you, you start looking at, 
as it sits in front of you and longer you see little things like the tail coming up here. You know, if that chair was turned a little bit more, you saw a little bit more of the puppy, um, maybe even turned all the way around so you saw the puppy on the front of the chair. Uh, just looking at different things that may strengthen this image and give it more power to it and take some of the emphasis off some of the propping and the background. You know, we don't want the background to be a solid tone. I talked about that in the last image. But at the same time, we don't want it to be distracting either. And these are some of the things that that uh, sometimes are out of our control. But sometimes when they are within our control, we need to deal with them in the best available way that we can entering these images. Okay. So again, um, talk to you about uh, the convention coming up. But again, I already did that. So I'm not going to waste any more of your time talking about that. So again, a privilege to critique your images. You've got a good start heading an image competition. And truly, I'd be more than happy to help you any way I can. So again, uh, thanks for allowing me to critique another one of your images.